So what's the worst intersection in Nampa, Idaho? Let's find out next. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And today, you know, I'm going through my emails and I see all these stories. And I thought, huh, let's check this one out. Idaho's worst intersection is a nightmare and it's in Nampa. Is that really the case? You know, it's not real good down there. Where is there? Well, I'll tell you where it is. It is, well, here you can see this picture. It's um in right downtown. Let's see if we can look at better here. So here's the entire Treasure Valley. Here's Nampa over here. Let's just do a little zooming in. So if you're familiar with the farmer's markets right there, here's Old Town uh, Nampa right there. And the place we're talking about is this intersection right here. So if you see over here in that picture, there's that parking garage. Yeah. That's this place right here. This is the parking garage. So what they're talking about here is, um, so this is uh, you know a business highway. It's, I want to say it's a business loop for 84. And it's a, it's a truck route that comes right through here. This coming up through here is... Um, Highway 45, it turns into, you know, 12th Avenue Road South as you go south of town, like towards Melba or something. And this is where big trucks come through. This is the library right here. You've seen my videos when I'm walking around downtown. And um, so this is a, a one-way scheme that goes around this block. It goes counterclockwise. So everything, buddy, going on this road has to go this way. This road all goes that way. That road all goes that way. And then back this way too. So what they're talking about here is, yeah, it's inconvenient. If you're coming down 11 and then you want to continue going through 11th over here to get up to, I don't know, Garrity or, or Lakeview Park or something like that, you can't just go straight because this one block is a one way. So you have to come here, wait for the light. You have to go down here, wait for the light, go over here, guess what? Wait for the light and then over here, the right lane, you can just make a, a turn on it. There's You don't have to stop for that. And then you just move right along. Is it the worst? No, I wouldn't say it's the worst by a long shot, but there really isn't a whole lot of article to this. With a couple of the comments, um, Kathy says that the intersection on 11th by the parking garage library is ridiculous. The mayor at the time, who was da -da -da, Tom Dale, remember him? Um, built it, and he even apologized for it. He should have fixed it right then, but it did not make sense the way it works. And I should say it doesn't. Well, that's very true. We were here when um, it was a dirt lot out there. And then Tom Dale, we were just wondering, you know, did he have buddies or something that built parking garages? Because it made absolutely no sense back then just to do the common layperson. Why would you put a parking garage there? And of course, common layperson here proved right. You go over there, there's not cars past you know, the second floor, and that's hardly even full. Um, so it was just a, I don't know, was it grasped? Was it political payback? Was it uh, something? I have no idea. If you know, please leave a comment below. But all I know it was expensive, unnecessary, and one person was behind making sure it got in there. That was Mayor Tom Dale. Yay, thanks, Tom. Um, but I understand he plays the trumpet real well, or is it the trombone? If you know, please let me know. Anyway, this person says somebody's going to get seriously hurt or kill the intersection. What were they thinking? With the growth in Nampa, you'd think they would plan better for safer roads. Very true. Very true. This is, it makes no sense that, well, this was here. But I think it's really kind of like two different things. How the road goes is kind of unrelated to the parking garage here. Um, look, there's nobody parked up there. Huh. And... So, okay, yeah, parking garage is completely unnecessary. Um, I don't think it really impacts the traffic that goes around here. This right here is where you come in and out, and you can come out over here too. Um, but just it's stupid that traffic has to come around like this. And so that does, it really needs some planning. That's not, I'm going to say, anybody's fault that it evolved like this. Like I say, this down here was a, it's a state highway. It's a truck route. You do see the sugar beet trucks coming through there. Um, but as far as the headline, Idaho's worst intersection? No, not even. So like 11th here, it's not that well-traveled of a road, particularly coming towards the north. 
coming to the south, yeah, there's a little bit more traffic because it's real. It's a nice shortcut. That's one of the things when you get up here, if you're going to learn, there's places that you can avoid by taking the shortcuts or alternative routes. And this is one of them. Instead of like coming down this way and waiting for the light and coming this way, waiting for the light and coming this way, you can just go straight on through. It's a nice 30 mile an hour zone. There's like one stoplight and you just keep cruising right along. It's really nice. So when would you need to know that? If you're coming over to Brick 29 for a nice lunch with, uh, you know, that's someone special. That's when I would do it. Also, while I'm here, Old Country Sausage. Gosh, you guys need to go in there. That's where I get all my jerky. Craig, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a good place to go. Um, so worst case, if, I mean, just a lay person here, that's all I am. Uh, I would say a worst intersection is going to be someplace you might want to avoid is this intersection here by Fred Myers on, there's Fred Myers, uh, at uh, about quitting time because traffic can really back up on this North Side Boulevard. And it stops here, then it stops here. But here's a little tip. So if you are coming down north side, if you can get to this road, there's no intersection. I mean, no uh, stop sign or thing. You just like make a turn here and you can take this street and it just comes all the way down and you get out of this big morass of traffic and you can actually come down, you know, wherever. What I always end up doing is I come in down here um, and then I come over here at one more block, get out front. There's nothing over here. And I can drive all the way down here and then I can get on 16th. But point there is if you're coming down here, you make that little turn there. Not everybody does it. Traffic's not, I've never had a problem with traffic on that. So that's a good, uh, a good little shortcut. So another probably, I mean, righteously, probably the worst intersection is going to be right here at Karcher Road and the Boulevard. And this is right there. There's Winco. The old uh, Kmart is there. Um, the mall is there. Home Depot is there. So you know where we're at. Uh, ooh, Golden Corral. Uh, the times we used to have there. Um, so, yeah, traffic does get backed up here. Some of it is because the freeway is right here and, you know, people getting on of that or off of that. So what do I do? Yes, that's right. I take a shortcut or a long cut or something. Um, if I'm just say coming in off of, um, Karcher road, I might turn down here on Middleton. Or if I screw up and I forget to do that, this Casia over here, which goes down by Red Robin, obviously at Home Depot, it comes down here on Flamingo. So you can get kind of around that intersection by going that way. Um, another great thing to do is if you're coming down the boulevard from say Caldwell, then you can um, turn here on Middleton Road and you can come down here. Yeah, there's a stoplight here. It's a lot faster stoplight than it is over here. And then get back on Middleton again. Um, maybe you come down. I'm not sure where you're headed, but um, that would that is an option. Let's see. Another way of getting around that is, um, well, it's like, where are you trying to go? Are you trying to get over here to the shopping area where Costco is and things like that? Um, and if you're coming down from over here, um, going out on North side, that's not a problem. So I would not go up the boulevard and try to go through this light and cross over these lights going over the freeway. No, no. What, <laughs> what I would do is come over here on North side, buzz up here. This is a straight shot. There's a stop of lights here. Um, you could, I would, this is what I would do. I just come up here. There's the sugar pack, sugar bee factory. Uh, make this turn here. This is a nice, even, nice road. And it comes right over here. And then you could come into Target, Coles, blah, blah, blah. Um, Cracker Barrel. Oh, why? I must be getting hungry. So that's another shortcut. So um, another shortcut. While we're talking about shortcut is if I'm over here on this side of town, because my office is... Have you guys been in my office? It's right over here by Jack's place. And you guys are more than welcome to come by anytime. And, uh, well, there it is right there. Um, if we could go out to lunch or something. Anyway, back to the shortcut. So what I do is I'll take, um, say, Birch, come over here. Somehow get up to Cherry. 
and I'll take Cherry across, and there's a couple four-way stops, no big deal. And then I come over here to Cherry. Um, this is also a great way to get back to Costco and all those areas. And then I come over here, and it comes up to, uh, there it is, right here. And this is a little overcrossing over the freeway, and you can turn there. You can obviously go north if you're going up to Middleton or even Caldwell. You can come back down this way, Middleton Road. Um, this intersection, you can get backed up a little bit, but it's still so much better than this morass over here. And then from there, you can get on the boulevard and go up that way. Easy peasy. So that's just a few of the shortcuts that I've got. Um, I really like them. And, oh, one more. So this is over here, not too far from my my uh, office, Fort Idaho Center. This is the intersection of Garrity and the freeway. And this can get backed up. So what I do, if I'm trying to get from the north to the south or south to the north, is I come over here on, um, this is King's. And uh, this is Garrity right there. And I'll take King's. I'll come over here to Comstock. Go by Fleetwood Homes, turn right here on 11th. It goes over the freeway. There's no interchange with the freeway. So you just go over, and if traffic's backed up, you can just wave hi to them. And then 11th, because it's so serene. You come over here through the golf course, and then right about here, this is kind of on a little plateau, then you can see out for miles and miles. You see, um, was it Squaw Butte over on the other side of Emmett? It's just a beautiful view. And then you're up here to uh, Birch and Cherry, wherever you need to go. So, heck, there's some uh, shortcuts. And worst intersection in Idaho? Not by a long shot. But if you have some nominees for worst intersection, please leave those in the comments below. Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Appreciate that so much. And as always, Treasure Valley Dave, looking forward to helping you get home.